Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, set this uh, Imilab uh, smartwatch with your uh, smartphone. So it'll be this one right here. I did the unbox uh, last time on December 22nd. And as you can see right now, the battery still shows uh, 50% which is uh, pretty awesome. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, set this up. I got my uh, Samsung Note 20 over here. Let's go ahead and uh, you could uh, take the picture of the QR code either on the instruction uh, booklet right here or from your uh, smartwatch. Go to setting and then uh, go to QR code and then you're going to open your camera and then just uh, scan the QR code and then just click on the web page and then you will automatically take you to here if you have an iPhone you could click on the App Store and if you have Android just click on the Google Play And then the app is called Glory Fit. Just go ahead and click on install. And then uh, click on open. So right here you will need to set up your uh, email address. So after that, you're, uh, you need to click on get Captcha. So you need to open your email in order to uh, receive it. So I guess I forgot to click on it now. I had like uh, 50 seconds less. It's a countdown. So they give you the code right here 308581. So you need to click on login right now after you get the captcha. So you need to click on go to set. Make sure you allow and everything like that. So click on next. So right here you need to select your gender, male, female. And then the height but this is in centimeter. I need to do some conversion. So it's about 180 something. Okay. Go to the next. So right here, you need to enter the, your weight. Let's see, 100. Whoops. You can select the pounds or kilograms, so. Calculate your sleeping habit according to age. And then after that, you can set your target, say 10,000 steps. So you can scroll all the way up to, what is it? Up to 30,000 if you want. So I set my about 10,000 and click complete. So while using the app. So now I'm gonna select the device to sync it with the watch. So there you go right here. And even show the battery uh, icon right there. 
So there's a new version. You just click on update and it's checking for update. Confirm. And then this is what it shows on the watch when I try to do the update. And it says uh, updating on the bottom right here. So we're almost uh, finished. 100%. So I guess we just uh, hit back. So as you can see right now, it has uh, current time and then uh, date and date. So let's say this is the home screen and then you can scroll down. Here are some of the settings that you can mess with. This is the brightness, the light bulb. And then the setting gear right here. This is to turn off, reset, info, and then the QR code. Uh, this is to search for my phone. So in case you lose your phone, you can search uh, from your watch. Let's uh, try that again. Search for my phone. So as you can see here, the phone is vibrating and playing a song. All right, so let's see uh, if you sc scroll left, here's all the training that you could do. You click on training and running, walking, cycling, alpinism, yoga, skipping, tennis, baseball, basketball, badminton, football, rugby, and then a uh, table tennis. So for example, if you want to do some uh, running or walking, just uh, click on it. And then there's a countdown right there. Okay. And then you get a, a resume or pause. Okay, so if you want to and you swipe it to your left, this is the steps, and then this is the measuring your heart rate, and then your blood pressure on the bottom right here. So the heart is uh, counting my heart rate right now. The icon right there, it measuring your heart rate. If you swipe to the left again, this is your sleeping uh, records. And then you swipe left, training, just like earlier, when you click on training, it gives you all these options. And then you can play music on your phone. Uh, there's another app that is not in here, unless you go into the yeah, there's a message for your text message. And you swipe right. 
there is the app is the stopwatch and then you could, you could do your stopwatch right here and pause it or if you want you could press the button on the crown right here push in to start and stop and this to reset it and then to go back just swipe it to the right Okay, so you swipe up, that's for the message. That, so right now there's no message uh, coming in. You can only uh, read it or receive it, that's it. You cannot reply. So yeah, I'm pretty uh, surprised about this uh, battery. And it's still show 50%. So after I unbox this, I left it on the table and then uh, leave it on like that but it's in like a sleep mode so somehow it lasts pretty long and still keep on going so yeah if you wear this uh, every day you I believe it will last you uh, 30 days of uh, battery when you constantly you wear this uh, every day so it will last you 30 days I was surprised because uh, this is a $350 uh, Samsung Galaxy smartwatch. The most it will last about two and a half or three days. Depends uh, how heavy you use it or how often you touch your watch to turn on the display and stuff like that. Versus this one, this one is only like uh, 50 bucks. So I'll be including the link that's going to show you in the description so you could uh, check them out. So. Uh, let's see if I could try to play some music. So it says the music, the watch can uh, be used to control the music player of the mobile phone. You can use it to play, pause, or skip songs. It is uh, only compatible with the inbuilt music player of the mobile phone may not be compatible with the third party player and the volume cannot be adjusted on the watch oh, okay i can uh, control the u2 me forward it. So yeah, there you go. I got reverse. Go back. Pause. Play. So yeah, that's it. So unfortunately, uh, you can only uh, control when the either the music playing or the YouTube is playing. So a good thing about this, it comes with the extra uh, watch band. The one I have on is a black color and then come with this like a light green color. And then this is a silicone the TPU material, which is a weather resistant. And then they come with this uh, charger Let me take it out real quick. I see all the sensor right there flashing. So it only allow you to connect one way because this is a magnetic. So if you connect the wrong way, it's uh, pushing you against connecting to the watch. And make sure it's set in there correctly. And all you do is just uh, connect the other, this uh, USB type A to this connector right there and then press it. 
and then it's showing uh, charging and stuff. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop in the comments uh, below. And be sure to check out the link within the description. If you don't want to spend uh, $350 or more, either with the Samsung or your Apple uh, Watch. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always. Peace.